Hey guys, what is up? Once again, how you doing? Welcome back, welcome back. So, a lot of crazy stuff's been going on, huh? <laughs> that, that's just how the internet is, though, you know? One day people say, don't give people money. The next day people are giving people money. I don't know. I can't keep up with it. Everyone's crazy, including, including myself. And if you're here, you're crazy too. So <laughs> sit back, relax. I hope you guys have some some foods and stuff because uh, we're going to get into it. All right. So I guess we will start off with... Uh, I guess we'll start off with Shani's video about uh, her special friend first. And then we'll go from there. But thank you all for hanging out. Let's uh, get into it. Like and subscribe and... Let's have uh, let's have some fun, people. Happy uh, Wednesday evening. All right, let's hear what she has to say. Let's see. Gotta turn off. The <laughs> really, Scott? <laughs> They're always fun, huh? Hey, you know hey, Crash. It's hey, Gypsy. Just my life. No, I'm not worried about my life. At all. Or anyone, really. You always depend on people to be hateful. Exactly. And, and, and that's what they are. They're hateful. And they fake to be friends. And they fake to be who they think they should be i mean you know i'll say this because uh you know instead of playing these these uh messages that shani made that you can barely even hear what's going on i'm just gonna play this person lisa's point of view because uh she hasn't came in lately you know that one day she came in and said that she had receipts and all that i guess those concerts receipts but no matter what she uh she, uh, you know, uh, reached out to Shani, gave her her phone number and stuff, and then started giving her money. And this ain't even before the child abuse, you know. I couldn't understand people doing it, like, a while ago before anything actually came out. But then when stuff actually came out, like, like, like now, you know, I would think it has to be, you know, a troll to get, to get your name out there. Um... And I guess Shani even thought that too because she had her guard up this whole time. But if I was her, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take no one's phone number. I would just be like, "Thank you for your money," and you know, keep it moving. Because you know, she knows that people are getting fed up with this nonsense of, uh, you know, "Give me money, give me money." I have nothing. Give me money. So okay. So apparently. Oh, and remember, let me just uh, uh, remind you all that. Uh, they are on their way, you know, getting kicked out. You know, currently, like, it's, it's in the works, you know. Their time is running out. That hourglass is running out of sand. So anything, like, diagnoses and stuff would just be very convenient right, right now because she literally has nowhere to live very, very soon. I've been getting a lot of emails about this woman, Lisa, and basically about like four or five weeks ago, someone, uh, uh, Lisa came to me and said, hi, I've been watching you for a long time. Long and time. And I just want to let you know <laughs> that I'm for real. I'll never hurt you. Um, and I want to be your friend and I really want to get to know you and be your friend, right? So, invited us out there, I guess. right? So she did what every narcissist does, of course. She loved bombed me. She loved bomb me and Jason and yeah. threw money at us. Yep. Like yep. you want this, you want this, you want this, you want this, you want this. Love bomb me. Yep. Right. And I was like, wow, maybe she actually likes me. But you know, it's kind of funny that. So she won't listen to any type of criticism or any type of anything unless you're throwing money at her, which she just called love bomb. But Shitty, weren't you asking for this money in the first place? So if you were asking for the money, how did this person love bomb you? 
you were asking for it, right? Where uh, wasn't she asking for these actual I- increments? You know, I actually want to know where did this Lisa where where did she find Shani? Did she just find her one day online and say, "Oh, this person looks interesting"? But see, the whole time I had my red flags up. Yeah. Because she started showing me her YouTube videos, and and these videos were from 13 years ago, and it's like she has nothing recent. But yeah, she's right. Proud of videos <laughs> that she did 13 years ago. Something's telling me she's been speaking about me for a really long time. Yeah. I have no idea. That's what I got. So I got my red flags up, and then she offered money a couple of times. There was a couple of times where we needed money, and we, we asked her. And, and she spazzed out on us that time. For some reason. For some never reason. Never a problem before. It was never a problem before, but she spazzed out that time. And, you know, like, like I've always said, anybody can do whatever they want with their hard-earned money. You know, nobody has the right to say, you can't uh, donate to this person or you can't do that. It's your money. I say you can do whatever the hell you want with it. It's your money. But uh, I think people like Shane should understand, like, does this money come with a, you know, come with something else, like a favor? Or, you know, I mean, she should always... uh, Especially now, think about if any money comes to her that it's going to come with some sort of strings attached. Because lately, a lot of them uh, seem to. And it doesn't have to be bad strings. It could just be like, hey, maybe you can shout me out. Hey, maybe you can go on so-and-so's channel. Hey, maybe we can figure out a way for you to actually make money instead of these boring streams where you're not answering any type of questions about what's been going down with you and Rev and the uncle. Just saying. So it's like, whatever. And then it ended. Did I say <laughs> something right, like you, you were supposed to be my friend? You knew exactly what I went through and you did all this? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're evil. You're just fucking evil to fake friends with me. And that's basically what happened is I got caught in another fake friendship thing. And you know what? Uh, she the gypsy. She says, uh, yes, Gammy, always the best friend and always the victim. It's true. You know, I mean, Shani could have made it where she didn't want a drama at all and just have a friend like that no, that she didn't tell no one about, a private online friend, you know, separate from all this. But she'll still find a way to screw it up because when you're Shani's friend, you have to agree with everything that they do. You have to co-sign for everything that they, that they do. Occasionally, you have to fight their her battles for you, for her, which is a real pain, especially if the trolls are trolly that day. That you know they'll, they'll just destroy you. And then you gotta give her money every time they need uh, thirty bucks, and it's always thirty bucks. So yeah, that that's her friendship. Give me money, and then anytime I get caught up in bullshit, you know, vouch for me and say I'm not this child abuser. Yep. So maybe a little bit at the end of the relationship, I trolled her a little bit by spamming her a little bit and <laughs> annoying her a little bit because it's like. That's, that's typical Shani. She does it to everybody. You know what? You're faking to be my friend so long. Okay, I'm just going to call you a billion freaking times and annoy the shit out of you. See, she said call. And I'm just saying to everybody, even if you're playing a troll, make sure that number is like a, a, a throwaway phone or a temporary phone. Don't give, don't give anybody online your legit phone number because that's just recipe for disaster. It's basically what happened. Yeah. And um, yeah. the <laughs> end. Yeah, you were in all you were you you were in troll mode for a while, and you enjoyed doing that because it's like, yeah, the person stabbed you in the back. It's another. yeah, and now she's just releasing everything like all the other ones do. It's it's it's, it's a cycle, and I really don't care because frankly, there's nothing bad there. There's nothing hmm. bad there. No. Everything's honest. It's exactly what's going on in my life. Mm-hmm. See, Shani's the type of person uh, for the newer people that uh, you can't break up with her. She has to break up with you. And that's why when it comes to Rev, Rev can't break up with her. And he knows that. She needs to break up with him. Otherwise, um, if that doesn't happen, then Rev, she breaks his legs. I mean, allegedly. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's her mentality. And I met plenty of people like that. You don't break up with me. I break up with you. 
and then I destroy you publicly and stuff. That's what Shay's trying to do here. Like I said, there's I have, I I would have a couple questions to, uh, for this Lisa person because there's some questions I did not uh, hear because there's always a couple questions I have for when new people meet Shani. But you know that's really it. You know uh, there was a lot I didn't get to find out about why she wanted to do the things she wants to to do, and it's only it's either to make a name for herself, like Shani says, or she actually wanted to be a friend. You know, took the drank the Kool Aid, felt the pity, and realized, oh my God, this person's everything everyone's saying. And you know what? A simple Google search could could have answered everyone's questions about Shani. You know, sometimes it just takes a, a simple search. And for my part, the, the the clip I'm sure that she's played for you of me was me saying, "Look, I don't even know what happened, but I can tell you that if you want to make up with with." us, Shani and me, uh, you know what we need. Yeah, you know? she... <laughs> if you want to make up with us, give us money. Real real nice friends here. I we need financial she, help. She, so. she, she said she wanted to reconcile with me, and then yeah. the next second she's saying, I want you to fucking starve, right. die, 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 what die. The hell is that? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So, whatever. I She's nuts. She gave us some money. Yep. I'm grateful for it. Absolutely. I thank her yeah, for it. Of course, yeah. And I don't know. We're still grateful for it, of course. Yeah. I don't know why she went down in that. If she didn't like that type of action, I just don't understand why she just didn't say, hey, I don't like this. We uh, I guess Shani needs everybody to know that if you don't like child and animal abuse, and I'm not alleged factual because there's court records, if you don't like those abuses, you need to tell her straight up. You know, I mean, she really should just, when she meets new people, say, hi, my name is Shani, and I'm an abuser of children and animals. And I also like to say racist things all the time. And like to hang out with racist people. <laughs> How about you? Quit this and, and just talk to me. But well, she I didn't. Don't... But the reason why is what she said. She wanted to be famous. Yeah. She wanted to use me. Mm -hmm. So right. there you go. That's your answer. There's your answer. She gave you the answer of what she was doing with us. She was just trying to get her own nice little whatever. And, and use me so she can get whatever she needs. I guess like Missy Moo to Chantal is the same thing. Yeah, she hates her job. She hates her life. She hates her husband. She hates She hates her kid. She doesn't she like hates the position her, she's in. She, yeah. yeah, she hates the position she is. I, I'm sure she's like, hey, maybe I'm funny. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can. And I'll just say, I don't know this Lisa person. So I'll, I will say, because Shani didn't, this is all alleged. I mean, of course, we're just looking at, at, at lips here and the finger. You know, there's no uh, proof or receipts of anything she's saying about not liking her own family. So remember, just keep, uh, put that with the grain, bleed that with the grain of salt, you know, because she has no receipts of any of these uh, statements. I can start, like, becoming a Shanny React channel and... and be mean and and try to be funny about it and you know make money off her i well, think that's what it is she does have a voice like yabba or whatever yeah you know, so maybe yeah. she hears yabba and she's like i could do this yeah that may be it yeah go for it whatever but other than that, <laughs> i i just it's it's just another person being fake so yeah. if you want to support someone being a fake friend go to lisa's channel i guess yeah sure Absolutely. Oh, what a pig. If you yeah. like fake friends, yeah. Yeah, you if, like you, people... if you like fake friends who are fake people um, doing things to be fake and exploiting people for their own mm -hmm. exaltation. Oops, sorry. Go for them. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That, that shows your consciousness and what kind of person you are at the end of the day, though. Not me. Because I'm not, I'm not worried about her. No, this you know, she, yeah, it made me depressed because I didn't understand, like, why did she drop me like this? Like, yeah, I don't understand. Like, if she had a problem with me, she could have told me she had a problem. Well, it was always in the plan. It was always the but plan. But you see, I, the plan. it was always the plan. That's the thing. To drop you. Like, there was just these points where she said these little digs or she acted like I was some kind of deceivious person. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And again, this is where I would want to ask this Lisa person I ever get to talk to. 
I would say, were these digs that you were throwing in or were you actually slowly realizing who this person was? And maybe they weren't digs as much as a person coming to terms with, did you really did do that to those kids? Uh, you let your, your boyfriend, oh wait, he's your husband? Everyone keeps saying boyfriend because you're not married. No, you, you did not do that to those cats. You didn't, you didn't clean their cat carrier, but that's, that's, that's animal abuse. You shouldn't even have them. You, is it true that you had a guinea pig freeze? Like those kinds of questions? I mean, these are just general questions to your lore, Shani. I mean, don't be surprised. They are crazy sounding, but it's unfortunate that all those statements are true. And it would, she'd say it quick and then she'd go positive. Yeah. She'd say something weird like, wait, why did you just say hey, that? Sandy. And then be, oh, Cindy, well, you know, up? I love you so much. And I, I think you're, you're wonderful people. It's, it's like really horrible, hey, hateful thing to say. And then back on the love bomb. Yeah. Like, That's fuck you, Shani. I fucking love you. Like, I, I don't understand that type mm -hmm. of behavior. Yeah. But we know now. So. Yeah, we know now. We get it. You know, and I was expecting her doing this for quite a while now. She said she was going to hey, do chef. this. She's pretty crazy, though, because, so, because look, if we were unstable people, we could have said, you know what? Let's just go out to Massachusetts and show up at their door. Yeah. Oh, Rev with the doxing. <laughs> Typical Rev. And that's why, folks, again, don't give these people your phone number, especially your private one. Don't tell them where you live. If you want to say a made-up state, then that's all you. But please, for your own safety, just don't. Uh, these people, Shani and Rev, are the, the king and queen of ammunition uh, feedback, meaning they will take anything you say and use it against you as soon as you speak against them. Do you Awful. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's really crazy. But but we're not like that. So, but... It, it's it's like I just don't understand why yeah, no, start <laughs> something like that just so you could have this fake drama, you know. Oh well, it's on them, it's on their head. It's negative attention, you know. And I'm not gonna focus my life on this. I got more important things. Uh, J Jason and me got therapy coming up around like April. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I I have. Mm, I have my medical stuff that I'm dealing with right now. Tomorrow I'll be having uh, a, a, my second mammogram and an ultrasound. So I'm, I'm focusing on that. I mean, today we were dealing with doctors and, and just a bunch of things dealing with that. We've been mm -hmm. busy. Yeah. Dealing yeah. with our own lives where Normal. that stuff doesn't yeah. even bother us. Real life. Shit. Yeah. You know? And remember, this is the same woman that showed proof of her uh, diagnosis with a x-ray from a book. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. You could go say whatever you want. No, but it's all revealed in her own words because she said, my entire intention with, with even contacting her was to get famous. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard anyway. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you, you, you pull in like, you're, you consistently now you're pulling in like 60 people, but, but, but they give me a break. You go through all of this BS and, and they, they also get off on stabbing people like this though. They, yeah. It really is a narcissist thing. It is. They love bomb you. Yeah. You know, and then stab. It's insane. Yeah. It's really abusive. Yeah. But again, I, and I have to stress this. I thought it was bad to give Shani money. So it's good now. You see, like this is like I I can't keep up with with who makes these rules on. Okay, now it's okay. Now we can give Shani money if Shani will will come into one of our channels. Um, she'll give you know it's okay to give money. And you know what? I I'm I can also say I was one of the uh, few that uh got an interview with Shani that's still on my channel without paying her nothing. And yeah, I'm pretty proud of that as well. <laughs> Because now this is this is insane. And I get what people are trying to do. Say, well, look, she's not going to do it. She's that lazy. But maybe because, I don't know, the people, the subject matter. I mean, me personally, I would because I wouldn't care. Money's money. But, or maybe she doesn't think that, that she would actually get the money. I know she was offered $100. And I know on my channel, it, it, the pot was up to $150, $160. So, you know, there's that. 
Because I also want to ask my Christian brothers and sisters and my Muslim brothers and sisters and and um, the pagans Everybody. out there <laughs> to pray for a couple of my sisters in Christ. They've had some accidents and problems with their health. And um, I want you to pray for them so they can have healing and comfort and good things come in their way. Because, I, I, you know, the prayer chain is always a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, dealing with Lisa, this is the last video I'll ever make of her. I don't care. Um, she showed what kind of person she was to me. And it, it doesn't it doesn't matter yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day. It really doesn't matter. Well, and she also wished it on us that to starve. So it's yeah. like you're seeing the person's heart right there. They're they just they're they're pretty vicious to the people they end up not liking. Like listen, if you don't want us to ask hey, you crispy. for money, if we are in need, if we asked you just let us know. Be like, hey, I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. Well, I mean, that. it was a very practical thing. We yeah. asked you. It was the, we were going to lose the internet. So it's mm. like it was practical. Yeah, exactly. You know? You could sign up for uh, government internet and it'd be $10 a month. You know, mo most of the internet is renting the stupid, uh, the, the, the stupid modem. But in this case, they give you uh, the modem and everything, and it's literally 10 bucks a month. I mean, Rev, there is stuff you guys can do. And that's why I think it's so funny. You're begging money to people that know laws, that know that you don't need th their money to survive. There's other ways to survive, but you guys just refuse to do that. And th that's the thing. If you, if you actually can't do it, you can't do a trade or anything, then you should apply for assistance, government assistance. Right. It's not that we're just saying give us give us fifty dollars for some BS. It was an actual, you know, there was a need, but Delta whatever. eight. It's it's <laughs> just it's clear the intention of the person because they stated their intention. Mm -hmm. So we can wrap it up and just never talk about her again. She's a cloud chaser, like most people. Yeah. That's that's it. That's it. So wait, so she's saying when she says, can I need some money, some PayPal, whatever, and then somebody gives it to her and then asks her a question, she turns around and says, well, then you shouldn't have gave me that money if you knew I wanted it. Like a lot of this doesn't make any type of sense. She gave you some money a couple of times and I guess thought that, okay, because I gave you some cash and donations and cash apps, you know, you'll maybe you'll answer some questions that you don't answer for anybody else. Well, I guess I guess that was wrong. <laughs> There's nothing to it. You know, that's just who she is. And if you want to support someone like that, you can. I just don't care. So Peace of Marinatha people. I love you guys. Pizza Marinara. Thank you for listening to me. Have a wonderful day. Learn how to respect people and love each other. Lisa, yeah, yeah, I'll be praying for you. Um, I hope you get better and get some therapy and try to really feel like get a real that man when I'm kicking up. kids. I don't know, maybe. Really feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. Should I gift subs really feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. Really feel like a real man. <laughs> that, that's that's my new super chat. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> I know it's horrible. Oh uh, yeah, Crash. If you want to give so, uh, give memberships, that's good because you know what? Um, it it actually has helped out. There's a lot more often than not. I would say half the members you give to uh, stay. So yeah, feel free to do that because actually it actually works. A lot of people actually stay and rejoin, and the people who do that, thank you so much. I really really appreciate that, and I hope you like. Uh, I hope you like that new super chat. Once I heard him say that, you know, it was a wrap. But thank you, Crash. I appreciate the uh, the the money, the two bucks. Love you because it's really weird how you treated me. Well, she's got some abusive relationships going on in her life. Yeah, yeah. Pray for her. Yeah. Pray for her. yeah, just pray for her. Yeah. I hope she gets better. Bye, guys. Okay, so there was that, and what I'll do. What I'll do is I will get into. What I'll do is I'll get into this uh, this stream. Uh, that this that that guy Drader did, and you know, full full transparency. 
uh, you know, people, if, if they like Dre, that's fine. Um, I just know that, uh, A, he spoke to this Lisa person, and B, um, I guess he deleted the video. So that's why I'm using it off the third party, but I am uh, using it from Graveyard Flowers. And everybody, if you have a chance, you can check them out. S uh, subscribe, uh, leave a like. You know, they are doing great work by catching uh, these great clips that get deleted. So thank you, Graveyard Flowers. I don't know you, but uh, I appreciate that you did that. <laughs> so let's check this out. And like I said, my this video here is not a dig at uh, Mr. Drader, it's a dig, or not even a dig, it's just seeing what happened when they talk. I hope you guys understand that. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Has been Drader and a former Shanny stand. Okay. Shani was crying because their ATM finally cut them off. Whoa, leading to a whole lot of whale crying the same day. Well, you know what? I'm not surprised. Shani looks definitely looks like a person that would be, uh, you know, withdrawing the money. I don't know if anyone else ever did that. I did back in the day. I will never do that again. I am glad that that bank is out of business. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, I'm you gonna want start. Bindi? Just started at nine o'clock. I love, morning. I love my Bindi, my natural. You bindi. were talking to her at nine this morning. I talk Damn. To them every day, I can tell you anything you want to know. Yeah, but I thought you like, broke that here's relationship the thing. I like, off. I talk to a lot of Hindus when I go out, nine this and they, morning, they, they like, they, they. Yeah. I don't know why they have it where she's talking while they're talking. But damn, Shani, 9 o'clock in the morning? I'm sorry, folks. I need my coffee. I need a splash of water on the face. I can't. Well, first thing I do, wake up and hear, hear Shani crying that she needs 30 bucks for, uh, for you know, gas station meth. Like, Allegedly. Kiss my feet. And they, they and like, said, they, yes. they, like, kiss my feet. Okay. It started then. Okay. All right. I, do you want to? I don't know if you want to hear all of them. I've got all of them. Play me your best one. All right. I go. I hear so many. All right. I'll just hear. It. Here we go. Hey, give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm screwing up here. Of my I know. Get get your tape recorder ready. Well, no. I wanted to make sure they could hear it. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Here, hang on. Okay. Well, I don't know, Lisa. I, I can just say this. Like, if uh, goodwill comes in many... Oh, that's Rev. Ha, 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 Lisa. I, I don't know what to say. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Cody, thank you for sponsoring. Or uh, staying to be a member. Oh, no, that's that's Crash. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. Thank you for gifting the five memberships, Crash. And uh, anybody who who would want one, just allow your thing to allow press your uh, pl press your button on the uh, gifts and just allow to uh, accept gifts on the crypt. Uh, what do I used to have a beanie baby? They just call me Tigger and that's all. <laughs> oh. I can understand you're tired, Crispy. It's been a long day for me as well. Okay, and, and Patty's still a sponsor. Patty, you're skating by. Lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Crash. And Kitten in the Mitten. That's cool. I like that name. And remember, guys, you want to become part of our crazy Discord where we have fun after the, uh, the videos are all done? Because sometimes the craziest, the real crazy stuff goes down in there. Oh, um, you know, on my community tab, on my membership, just click it and you're right in. Forms and um, one of them would be helping us out right now financially. So if, if you do want to, you know, show some goodwill um, and for the sorriness that you say, you could help us out that way, you know. 
I don't. Okay, I think I get what she's saying because uh, you know she's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I called you out." And, oh, well, you know, <laughs> um, you know, we us child abusers need some money for that Delta Eight. <laughs> um, you know, I, I mean, if you're really sorry, <laughs> you bitch, you just go on, just give us some fucking money, huh? You know, you know, otherwise Jesus is gonna come down and beat your ass. You know, I'm I'm Metatron, and that's Sandalphon you're fucking with. <laughs> They really believe that too, folks. So I see what's happening here. I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna be cliche, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like money talks, I guess, you know, if if you want to help us out that way, and then we can smooth it over, I guess. Wait, there's more. Wow. Wait, there's more. Uh yes, yes, buddy. Yes, Crash. <laughs> Wait, this chick was recurring their phone. Oh yeah. And that's what I'm saying. You know, this ain't this is more than Oh, Shani gave me a couple of bad, you know, DMs. And I'm like, I screenshot those DMs. No, this is phone conversations. Because she gave her, her cell phone. And it's like, if you're recording those, no, that's an agenda. That's an agenda. Sorry, I've been doing this for a while. I know when people do stuff like this. And they're doing this to, sh they're doing this to share them later. Today, the main thing with Shani is she's hangry. Okay, I want you to know that, Lisa. She's she, Did he say she's hangry? <laughs> and, and what you have to understand is this is, it's been so long of having this, okay, we're going to have a friend, and we get, we cozy up, and then we start talking to one another, and then it's like the knife comes out again. That That's what we've gone through for quite a long time now, so... Uh, we're very, very guarded, and and we were guarded. We were thinking to ourselves when we were talking to you. Okay, is this for real? Is this feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. So I don't know, maybe. We feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. We feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. We feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. <laughs> that's super chat i hope no one gets mad at me for that one but when he when he said that i'm like what super chat yeah yeah bro uh apparently allegedly she was and like i said before you know i think people people don't record conversations unless they plan to use them in some way or another later on you know it's just a fact you know we're all adults here you know i'm not i'm not talking against her or anything i'm just saying it seems like this was planned to show them later. My humble opinion. Everyone, please, uh, about 61 here, 63, uh, please like. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's what I got to say for now. Okay. But wait, there's more. I'm loving it. All right. Can, on, I, I can I say something, though, real quick? Yeah. And this might sound kind of weird, but, mm -hmm. and I don't know you at all. Right. But I would give you one big kiss. I know you would. When do you hear I this? mean, this, oh, like, this like, is wonderful. Like voicemails. I get Listen you. Listen to this. You know what? That's possible. I wish it was Take... me. Right. I really wish it was. All right. I'm sorry. What? Take me off your Christmas lift it list. This is good enough, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. We've got 20 minutes of this. Yeah, you can't be a friend with someone. Can you? Can't yeah, be a fucking friend to someone, can you? Wow. <laughs> and it goes on. Too much to be a fucking friend to someone! <laughs> Isn't it? It's too much! Did you just fast forward that? Been broken no, I've got about done. 25 messages oh, today. Fucking free week, fucking... And you don't know me, but I'm the funniest bitch you'll ever meet. Yeah. So I wrote, I actually wrote, I'm sorry, I, I, I had written an apology letter since I crushed her so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wrote, Shani, I'm sorry you feel like that. You sound angry and premenstrual. How much money do you think it would take to earn your forgiveness? To, your forgiveness? Oh my God. Are you a troll? No, no, not at all. I don't even know. That You mm. qualify as a troll. Thank you. I mean, seriously, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you an award right now. For, oh, really? for troll of the year. No. Uh. Right. So when I said about how much would it take for your forgiveness, are you ready? Yeah. The drama. Patronize me. 
The what? Lisa, don't patronize me. <laughs> don't patronize me. And you want to know what else I've learned from this trader? What? The shanty moan. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, the one where she's yelling and screaming at you, oh, play that I've one. Got, I've got about 20 of those. Here, let me. The one you were just playing where you stopped it. Play that one from the beginning. Right. Hey, there's tons of them, but listen. Never ever someone care for you. Do you think that's going to do any good? Uh, no. <laughs> this is up. Up. <laughs> See, normal. Uh, the person who made it sped up a little bit. No, I'm telling you, Shani is broken, folks. Folks, Shani is, she's a broke toy. <laughs> she's a broke toy. And I'm sure these emotions are all over the damn place, you know? And it's 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 such low-hanging fruit now, you know? And who knows? Who knows what's going to happen in the next few weeks, you know? it's Things are definitely moving at a rapid pace for her. And she has no control over that's one. There's about 12, 20 of those since this morning. God, can we hear them? And then, well, I'm, I'm, believe it or not, I'm busy, but I'm at work. But anyway, I explained to her. I You're at work? Man, I, I, I want a job like this where I can just stop what I'm doing, playing these videos at my desk, or, you know, like, uh, I guess uh, you go under my Walmart desk. You know, people are like, yo, Lee, come on, <laughs> bring up these groceries. Oh, I'm talking to Drader. Hold on. We're exposing Shani for Christ. They're like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> bring up my Funyuns. <laughs> I wrote her a really nice note, like apologizing because I saw everybody was calling me a troll. And like, I just stopped giving the money. I can send you the receipt. Uh, how did all, all this start? Well, all of a sudden, Shani kind of said something against her and then she said something against uh she told other people about her experience and shared some of these um um uh, uh, some of these messages because shani knew that you know this was all going to come out and then shani's defense she says like just now she just said that she was being love bombed that she got money and in her defense she didn't know what was going on, I guess, or I mean, she really didn't say that. She just, I guess, just stopped giving her money. I guess hopefully we'll find out more, but that's kind of what I'm gathering what happened so far. I have tons of them and I was giving them regular money. And then she went on his channel to this guy's channel to talk to him. But for some reason he, I don't know, grew her conscious and didn't want to show it. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe he didn't want to show his format. Who knows it? And what happened was I gave them $50 and Damn. about the next day, it wasn't even 24 hours. He called me again. He, he called me, he called me and asked me for another 30. Um, and I, I do, like I said, I, you know, I'm not a troll, but I naturally I'm, I see what, how evil these people are and what they can do. But when he ever called me, if you see how evil they are and what you can do, then why did you give them $50 in the first place? Like, I don't get that. So the day before, 50 bucks was okay. Next day, 30 bucks. No, Rev, I can't give you that because you're evil and I see what you do. What? So if you're if he's evil and you see what they do, then what the hell do you think they did with that $50? Me to make nice. I was almost tempted to send him money, but to, I just want to tell him to go fuck himself. I haven't answered anybody. So $30. But this has been going on for a very long time. So do you want to know about the writing gig? Yeah. It's Bigo. <laughs> it's what? What is that? Bigo is like a Bigo is like a, a, a Zoom type thing on the phone. Yeah. I was in this little mini group with them of like me and four or five other women, which I've now kicked out of. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> uh uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I want to be nice and res I want to do this with the utmost nice and respectfulness. 
<laughs> I call I affectionately called it the trough. Um, <laughs> anyway, somebody offered her them a writing job on Bigo. B I G O. Yeah. That's what that's the writing job. Um, just so you know, Bingo. I am a case manager. What? One in real life, I can send you my card. Why? Don't. <laughs> hey guys, you want to know what I really do online? I just try to ruin this person's life, and I'll show you guys what I do online. I can send you my cards and everything. And I won't and say I didn't. Um, and I, honest to God, really and truly tried to help them get jobs. I spent days on the phone with them. Myself, looking at places myself. That's the God's truth. That's local to them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And you know, and I thought, all right, you know what? And listen, I mean, I, you, you, I trust you more than anybody. That's the truth. Because you don't bullshit, and you, you say it like it is, and it's all right. No, wasn't this the guy that says that don't go watch his channel if you want facts? But no, he don't bullshit. I, I mean, I'm just, and again. Not being mean, I'm just reiterating what I've heard and I've seen. I've seen videos of this. He says, if, if you want facts, don't come here. This is not a fact facts channel. You know, I don't like this other little catty shit. I'm not, that's not me. I'm old school. So she did another one that I just got today that it was very threatening. <laughs> it's, I, don't wanna, I don't know if you want to hear it. Yeah, I want to hear think it. You're tough, you think you're tough, Lisa? <laughs> I'm 60 years old and in a wheelchair. What? I work every day and I've had the same job for 10 years. Yeah. I'm happily married. I'm not crazy. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. And I honestly thought, I don't know. I thought I could help. I really did. At some point, I thought I could help. And again, this is the problem, people. For anybody new, just listening in, we're talking about Shani for Christ, the uh, convicted child abuser who has finally her children taken away, thank God, and everyone else who helped out uh, on that campaign. And, and and shout out to all the people that helped out getting them out of Colorado. You know, the stuff that we did two years ago before anybody else was here, but that's fine. Uh, so there, there was a lot of campaigns done to uh, get this woman uh, by herself and away from people to not hurt anymore. She always does this. You'll feel bad for her, but it always goes back to the same narrative. You know, I tried. There's a lot of people. And, you know, I'm not a person that if I first hear about it, uh, about somebody like, oh, I believe it. If someone says to me that they need to find out a person for themselves, that's fine. Because that's exactly what I did. But it took me a day to realize, you know, watching some of Shani's lore and talking to her, she was just like a really stuck up awful narcissistic person you know whether it's bpd or add adhd there's something wrong there's something wrong up in that head and she always goes back to these narratives so please for anybody who watches you know like i said you could do whatever you want with your money but understand this person's never going to change you're just going to help them them along and then i realized that we were too deep in the hole with you know Hang on, I'm trying to find this, the top one. Yeah, yeah, but you know, you're their perfect mark. You know what I mean? They look for, oh. they look for good, decent people. And I am, and I honestly thought that I was helping. I was the one that sent the money when they got the mayonnaise. Yeah, and some people <laughs> might think of you in a, a, a negative way, but you know, I, I don't, don't because I, I don't fucking. Kill it. I don't fucking. Kill no, it. I'm just telling you that yeah. you're exactly what they're looking for. Absolutely. And I'm Absolutely. I'm sorry that happened to you. I, I'm fine. I have even been in the little group chat with the little chickens. And, and you know, again, I can understand Shani likes to lay it on thick. But at this point, like I keep saying, simple Google search can do it. Right there, child abuser allows boyfriend to film the, the abuse on YouTube. It's all over. And even before that happened, there was stuff about her. Because it's not the first time that the kids were taken away. There's so many videos. Now more than ever, people are redoing them. And you know what? Maybe that's for the better. Because in the long run, all of us as creators that ever talked about Shandy will all go down for, hey, look, this certain person's not cool. No matter how, you know, a guy doesn't think so, a girl doesn't think so. Many people of many different 
genres and many different groups and communities don't think so. So I feel at this point, if everyone's telling you, it's not just for hates and lulls and stuff. It's it's pretty much facts. It will no, it is facts. It said, please stop asking me for money. I know it's embarrassing. Yeah. Wait a minute, let me see if I can find the top I'm one. not going to stop until you're fucking real with me yeah. and not put these little nomenclatures out to make it seem that you're you're saying the right things at the right time. No, you're not. Lisa, you're just being phony. So why don't you be real with me? Oh, Michael Ferberger. <laughs> Welcome to the crypt. We have fun. You used to be real with me. Why aren't you real with me now? Too much of a coward to be real? <laughs> That's what I think. You're too much of a coward to be. Yeah, you know, some people don't understand. Like, hey, man, I, I, I knew plenty of people that were like, you know, 60s talking about like cool stuff and, you know, the war and, and, and Vietnam and, uh, and uh, Woodstock and stuff like that. You know, there's a plenty of cool ones. But when people are like, yeah, I gave her my address and my phone number. And then I'm like, wow, she keeps spamming my calls. And I'm just 60 years old. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm just on my, my wheelchair and I'm just watching this person and give them the money. And then they give me money the next day. But I didn't give it to them the next day because I know they're awful child abusers. But I only found out a day later. But, okay. <laughs> if that's your story and you're sticking to it, you know. I'm just reporting. No, uh, no negative, positive or negative. It's just, this is just the facts. Fucking real with someone. <laughs> I have a real job. I'm, I don't know what I did to make you treat me like this. Like I don't exist, but I don't appreciate it because I thought I actually had someone to care. Yeah, exactly. I, I, how am I gaslighting you exactly? What did I do to gaslight you other than tell you how I felt and how you made me feel? That's not gaslighting. I didn't deny anything you said. Do you know what gaslighting means? I didn't say you didn't mean that. I said you were patronizing me. Because you are. It's obvious. Hang on, let's see. Yeah, you can't be a friend with someone, can you? can't be a fucking friend to someone, can you? The depression that you can't seem to get out! <laughs> All I've been doing is crying, Lisa! Because <sighs> I thought I found someone that actually cared! And it was all fake, like everything else! <laughs> Just watch your face! <laughs> Hang on. Pretty, um, all right, so then I told her that I was dealing with a family emergency. Yeah. And I told... I oh, oh, yo, Shani is... Oh, my God. If you guys... If you have a family emergency, she's the person to tell. I'm telling you. you that's G-Man about that. <laughs> you had to go to, to a, a funeral, and she kept on spamming his phone. So, yeah. If you guys have a family emergency, she, oh, please... Related to Shani, I'm sure she will give you the best words of encouragement you've ever heard. I sent her a picture of the kid's obituary that died. Yeah. And this is what she sent me back. It was in the car crash. So I wouldn't have to fucking hurt all the goddamn time. Whoa. A 23-year-old kid friend of ours died. Are you serious? All right, you know what? I'll, I'll agree with that one. That was pretty fucked up, Shani. Shani, just because you don't care about your children doesn't mean other people don't care about children and people's uh, adult children that were friends with their, you know, with their family. That is messed up. And I love the narcissi narcissistic part and all that, where she tries to put herself in the car and in the accident instead of the uh, unfortunate uh, young young man. But yeah, that that is a. Uh, that is an unfortunate thing to hear. But you know what? I'm not surprised. Shani, Shani can be even worse. She is she said some nasty, fucked up things to people. And I'll never forget it. I know what's in there. It's not all that this sweet woman. I know there's an evil in that, in her. It was me. I really wish it was me who was in the car crash. So I wouldn't have to fucking hurt all the goddamn time. 
Wow. I sent, I sent the, just so you know, I sent a little blurb from the paper that the kid died Saturday night, a friend of ours. Yeah. She, I wish it was me. Yeah, she turned it around. Yeah, this is this is fascinating to get an inside look and how she fucking does this shit, right, you know? Because Oh, please, man. Uh, eat, by all means. <laughs> You're not the first one. Oh, I know, but I want... Well, listen, my husband oh, hey, just Sandra. walked through the door. What's up? Hello? Hi. I want you to hear... Hey. Come here, Bruce. I want... He doesn't know about this. I want him to hear... I want you to hear his live reaction. Okay. You ready? Say hi to Drader. Hey, Drader, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, Bruce? All right, here goes. I'm going to Ready? Yeah. Well, I don't know, Lisa. I, I can just read this, like, if uh, goodwill... Comes in many forms. Dude, I, 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 I feel I feel weird all over. Just saying, <laughs> hearing this is just I don't know. And um, one of them would be helping us out right now financially. So if, if you want to help us out, um, you know, show some goodwill um, and help us out with this whole When he talks, ha ha ha. Can you fucking believe? Yeah, I can. Yo, ease up on the smoking. Can you believe it? Yeah. Hi. Wow. Yeah. I'm trying to find the one about me being so tough, and it was really. I have to say, I wish I could find it. My my. Uh, I a couple people. I warned everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I mourn. She mourned. This is after she I caught herself. I mourn everyone. I feel like everyone who ever cared for me has died because emotionally they have. Because they don't want me in their life. Because I'm just a fucking piano to them. I'm not a real person to people. I never <laughs> have been. Uh, so that's pretty much... Jeez. That's just today. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no matter what, you don't send them any money. I'm not. I told them I'm not sending them any money. The most, I, I, listen, I swear to God. I. Yo, I, you know, I heard and, you know, Noah, again, Noah, Noah hate or, and I'm not making fun. It, it was, it's a room I heard in the, in the grapevine that there is actually a support group now. For people that used to like give money to Shani and believe everything, and then they have like this all anger towards her and want to like get her back or something, and they all kind of hang out and talk together. And you know what? I guess every, everyone <laughs> everyone deserves a little help. I guess if they need it in that way. So yeah, food for thought. I did send the money. I absolutely did. I felt bad for them. And I honestly, in my stupid head, thought I could help them. Okay, so I have a Jesus complex, maybe. I don't know. How? So I, then I said, no more money. No more money. No more money. They already lost their kids. Shani never even got up to go to the to the bathroom or wash. You know, I, how are you going to help them with money? Like, I, I understand, like... If somebody fell, if they were in a bad relationship, but Shani's still in the same relationship. So it's not like any ch big changes happen where you could be like, all right, I'll give you money. Because if it's like that, I, I you know, that's totally fine. Like, you know, in my book, like I said, people could do whatever they want with their money, but I would want to give someone money to try to have them make a change. Like, obviously, those two need a split. No, no doubt. They need to uh, split up. I think they would have a lot better time. I mean, I don't think they'll ever get a job, but I think it would be easier for them to take care of one another without taking care of each other. They're not. She's not upset about my friendship. She's upset about my money. Yeah, she thought she was going to have me. an ATM. All right. On top of that, I don't want to get too personal, <laughs> okay? My husband is undergoing a treatment right now. They are to discovering, making sure that he oh, does sure. not have cancer. And he's had biopsies and they know about this. And we're going through it in real life right now. We're actually waiting. May God strike me dead. We're waiting for doctor's results today. But she knew all of that. Didn't give a fuck. I sent her a picture of my husband in bed 
in bed because he couldn't move. I'm, I told him about your situation. What? I tell message for Ren. What? <clears throat> hey, Ren, sorry. That ship has sailed, and it's a one-way voyage. Oh, okay, good one. <laughs> my husband's such, such a nerd. Anyway, he she knew how sick my husband was, and they were still asking you for money. This this is wild, guys. <laughs> this is wild. I mean, really, it's like, hey, guy who doesn't know anything about what I'm talking about, you have something to say? Of course you do, because I'm sure she told you the whole narrative. I know it's unbelievable, isn't it? I took a picture of my prescriptions because I had a blood clot on my lung and, and said, I have no money. Well, what do you only give 30? Give 30, did it. So, and then it was finally, I just got to pull the plug and I pulled. See? And that it, right there is why you shouldn't give any creator a way to contact you that you can't turn off. I mean, something like a Discord, if you give someone a donation, you know, that's kind of one way. Someone can, uh, I, th I think, request money, but you can turn that off. But if someone has your phone, they'll keep calling you, texting you. That's just harassment you don't want just because you like what, you know, what a creator does. They give you some chuckles throughout the day. No one deserves to be hassled, you know, especially for good-natured people. Pulled the plug three weeks ago, and I haven't sent them a dime, and you you hear what's going on. You hear like, all these videos that she's been making are all to me, and that's the truth. Yeah, I, I heard some of them. She seems really fucking, like, crushed over this whole thing. I'm a, I'm a likable gal. <laughs> well, I'm sure yeah. that's not the reason. It's the, the money just, situation, I, I, you know? She could money, give a shit less money. about you. Exactly. It's the money. It's all, she's not crying. She could give two fucks about me. I mean, do you, somebody that doesn't give a shit about their own kids, do you really think she's going to ever care about you? Well, I can tell you this. I can tell you that she had the nerve. I, I know when to tread lightly, you know yeah. what I mean? And, uh, she told me, and I mean, it's so stupid. It was a private adoption. <laughs> what? Wow. Huh? You know, it's a private adoption if you're giving a baby up at birth. Who did that? No, I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, Carrie must be on. Oh, Car Carrie must be stalking you. Why? Carrie just texted me. Can I call her right away? I'm only talking to you. Nobody else. Once we get done talking, I'm done. I'm done. I'm putting Shani out of my life. I don't want anything to do with Shani. I will still listen to you, and that's it. And, and you know what? Uh, to some people that might want to, like, you know, be friends, Shani, understand that uh, people might be talking, you know, they might contact you, they might talk to you in a negative way, positive way. Reactions will happen. <laughs> and then I would say for most people, their reactions aren't the ones you were, you wanted or hoping for. So just please, please keep that in mind. You know, remember, this is only the internet, but some people do take it, unfortunately, too far. But just so you know, all of a sudden, my best friend, Carrie. What's wrong? Is there tension between you two? Who? You and Carrie? No, I don't even know her. I just know her. I, I just <laughs> just know her. I was, you know, just know her from her show. That's all. Okay, so she has it. I know of. I don't, I don't know. She asked me if she could. Um, I, I told her that I'm the one that Shani's crying over, and that was it. Yeah. yeah, she came up here to, and, and wrote that in a message like that she was the one that Shani was crying over and she had some receipts. Yeah. And I have shown her receipts and that's it. I'm done. I'm done. All right. Well, I'm just, all I'm saying is I think Carrie is a a good person. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't get into any of this online drama shit. I'm, no offense. Um, yeah, I but in the drama community or the this community, the only the only thing I would want to do is shoot Molly go lightly. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what the one okay. thing about it is that it's good that people know exactly. You know what I mean? To see and that's exactly why I'm calling you. You know, to and see exactly, exactly what she does, man. The what she'll do to people, man. It's it's not cool to take advantage of people like that. I, on, I don't know why everyone's kind of skimming, like not really focusing on this. Yeah, I do believe that she had the breast exam. I do believe that she had a mammogram. Isn't it weird mm. that she, Rev just happened to be at his first job interview in forty years the day she gets the call? Yeah, right. <laughs> Purple Moon oh, has thanks, just Purple donated Moon. five euros and ninety nine cents through Super Chat. 
I am here cheating on the replay crew. Tears of joy. Glad I'm actually awake for a live stream for once. Purple. Yeah, Purple yeah. Butterfly. Yeah, thank you uh, so much. I know, like, uh, usually it's pretty far between. So when I see you in a live, usually I see you in the in the uh, in the in the uh, in the comments. But yeah, thanks for uh, actually being able to make it. You know, thanks for the uh, the notifications actually working. But thanks, uh, thanks day? to the five ninety nine. While he was at the interview. Oh wow. That's bullshit. So that's bullshit because she keeps it. Listen, he's. I feel bad for that poor bastard. He is the most fucking pussy whipped man i like she tells him everything and he believes it yeah he honestly believes i've spoken to him he honestly believes that shani is going to make this giant comeback they really really believe that she's going to have a hundred thousand subs yeah she they really believe that of I'm course they're like mental a joke i'm saying it they honest to god in their heart of hearts they believe that they're going to be back he, he uses the word back on top yeah <laughs> <laughs> How did you send them money? What in what form did you send the money? PayPal and Chime. Do you know you could do a a? Uh... I don't care. I listen to me. I don't care about the money. If you can't give money, I mean, you. I know. Yeah, interesting. PayPal and Chime. I didn't even know that Chime was still around. But in, interesting. You know what, folks? That means she probably didn't get reported on Chime. And again, I'm not saying ever report anybody. I wouldn't do that here. But I'm just saying. I know she got reported from. Uh, PayPal a few times and the cash app a few times, but Chime, hmm, that's that's uh, she probably wants to keep that on the down low. Never wanted it back. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm fine. I don't care about the money. It wasn't really about the money, to be honest with you. And and then it was like, oh, fuck, they're not gonna leave me alone. So I just sent them 20 bucks, you know, and then they would perk right up. There's been times when she's been like online and alive and she's can't talk because she's so pain and pain and then he checks his paypal and chinny comes to life yeah of course so, yeah and it's like listen i like i said i'm a 60 year old woman <laughs> i have a full-time job i am I'm, I'm respected at what i do i do help people in real life you know yeah and that's why i thought i could help i sat here on my laptop and pulled up jobs that you can do remote jobs from home and told them about them i told chinny the perfect job for her and she was all excited about it never did anything it was 100 perfect Perfect job for her. It's like seriously, like answering the door at Walmart, sitting there. Cause she, they probably will let her sit in one of them uh, uh, carts or something. Percent remote, and the money wasn't good enough. Yeah, it's, so, that's incredible. I, and I listen. I don't bullshit. I'm not a troll. I, you know, and I even told her. And I said, Channy, I just want you to know something that I, it's a, I've commented about you on other. I don't want anyone. I want to tell you that I've commented about that I thought you were a piece of shit. But now I know you. <laughs> yeah. When did so, when did you discover that she was a piece of shit? Actually, from you, from the one with the cancer scare, and it was all this in it. The way it worked is like I really do have breathing problems. Yeah, and I have a, I'm next to a oxygen if I need it and a nebulizer, twenty four seven. And I just started Advair, <laughs> Advair, and another one. But long story short, I'm not a well person. I won't be doing the Boston Marathon this year. You quit. <laughs> you quit smoking, thing. didn't you? Well, absolutely, absolutely. So of course I did. So and we're, we're normal people. My husband, listen, my husband works at a marijuana dispensary. Yeah. He even offered to send them free samples and, and they don't want it. They just want their little Delta eight. What are you going to send free samples of? I, my husband makes edibles for a living. My what? husband works at a marijuana dispensary. Yeah, but wouldn't that be illegal shipping that across state lines? I, I didn't say I was a nun. <laughs> I did it to try to save money, to tell you the truth. But she said, no, they didn't want it. She, they wouldn't have cared if it was an illegal thing. So. Well, yeah, I, I just worried about you getting in trouble. I don't, nah, I don't, I don't think I would, but I would, you know, I was willing to take a chance just to stop them. Yeah. And, you know, he's got all these ideas about being a record DJ man. Yeah, he's a radio and, guy. You know, and like, he goes, Lisa, don't you think Shani has a great singing voice? I bet she could make an album. I bet if she got in touch with Corn, they would have her singing with them. <laughs> and I would just go, uh-huh, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, we have it on video. You know, I've tried. I ha he says the same shit. That he was saying uh, that he says on videos he was saying to me and it's like i heard it i made the fatal error one day of saying something about ms to her yeah and she goes i don't have ms i go yeah you do you don't have ms she goes oh, i don't know i have everything yeah well we got the clip of her saying she has i MS. know I, well, that's the best clip <laughs> if, well, listen when i try to explain this craziness to my friends well, like i tried to saturday night this past saturday night before she even, no friday night before anything ever happened like before she started sending me all this shit yeah you know what? I'll just say this. It took me about a year and a half of watching her consistently 
with Renee until I felt like I had a, a decent understanding of what Shani is and how she does things. And I, I'm telling you, I've been surprised, especially when I, you know, uh, I, don't, I really didn't think that she was going to have such a downfall so quick. You know, she always acted like she wasn't burning through the money the way she was. And I tried to explain it to my friends, and I said, this is the only way I can explain it. I put the TV on in my living room and put your one of yours on. That's the God's truth. Yeah. What the fuck? You gave this lady money? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I, you know, the, the bizarre part. Yeah. Uh, no, this is not now, uh, hey, the hair and the fox. No, uh, okay, is this now this, have this lady hit me up, I'll do a remote job if it's edible, it's not real weed. Infused 0.3 THC. Okay, well, Lisa, if you ever see it, hit up the hair and the fox and she can, or he, they, they can help you out. Uh, but no, this is, this was from March 20th, and as soon as it came on, he, uh, uh, deleted it. So yeah, I'm showing you. <laughs> um, and this way we also get this Lisa's person's point of view and we actually got to hear some uh, Shani in there. I didn't even know the, the Shani messages were on here, which is pretty cool. Nice surprise. The really bizarre part, and this is kind of funny. <laughs> I do, I have a little tiny parody channel that I started like 11 years ago on YouTube. And I do characters. I was actually working on a Shani character. And oh no, you didn't say something bad. Uh, I was just saying this is um I was just saying that that's what it is. It's uh this is from you know what whatever two days ago. Someone I don't even know. I think the first one I ever saw was when they got stuck on the train tracks. I have the wig and the glasses, and I ordered the shirt, <laughs> the Mystery Science Theater 2000 shirt. Yeah. And I know this sounds funny. I'm a very funny woman. If you want to look at my videos, you can. Okay. I'm very funny. I hate her so much that I don't even want to do a parody of her. Okay, <laughs> so you don't have any of her up on your page. Oh, no, no, okay. no, 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 right. no, no, no. No, if I wanted to, I could. I practiced, and the people that I showed were like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, I, unfortunately, I am overweight. I don't have any warts. <laughs> 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 you, can, you can go on Instagram. I'm, on Instagram, I'm Chanchko Lightly. And that's okay. How she met me. Well, I think that, uh, you know, a lot. Of, I think what's bad about her is not her physical appearance. I think it's what's in the inside She's that, re that really garbage. bothers people. So a lot of people aren't that judgmental. You know yeah, what I mean? I don't, to, I don't know. Oh, it's just, okay. since it's her, it's all good. It, it just adds to it if, it, if that makes any exactly. sense. You no, know, no, that's just, like my character. It's like I do a. Um, I do a couple of men. <laughs> I do a Vietnam vet. My own brothers oh. didn't know that I was the priest that I sent children a video of me. I'm mm -hmm. what I do. I don't know. But oh, eight hundred bucks. I spent a hundred. Steve Man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. <laughs> Say, folks. Five dollars for super chat. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. That's why he deleted it. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. That that could be that could be very well. Um, that could be very true. You know, um, she is very all over the place. You know, uh, I mean, in my opinion or in my history, dealing with people this enthusiastic on things, usually, you know. Usually there's something else. I don't want to say what, because I, I don't know. Only speculating. But I hear you, man. I hear you. But, you know, it's still interesting anyway. But thanks for the five bucks, bro. Um, and yes, for people, that, that clip, that's from one of the times that, I mean, it wasn't really an interview. It was just me and Shani fighting with each other. But it's fun, nonetheless. If you never uh, saw it, it's on my channel. That's from like... uh what almost two years ago now maybe two years ago that was a long time ago i'm a businesswoman i'm like i said i you know I, i'm not into all that shit so but i give you a million times credit because you're the only one out there telling the truth and you don't you know carrie is a nice she's, she's funny, she <laughs> deserves more credit than i do she, she gets, does this on a regular basis she's right on it when it happens i know i know well she that's how she why do you think she's texting me right now she was listening to you <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I yeah. think you should have maybe gave it to her before me. You know what I mean? I don't care who, well, if you want me to, I can, you can share it. I can send her. I'm friends with her on Instagram, so I can send her the receipts. 
Yeah, I would I would do that. You know what I mean? Because I think that's important right. that people see what she's actually doing behind the scenes to people. Right. I, listen, just so you know that how you know I, I don't have to defend myself in this call, mm-hmm. but just so you know, I felt so bad as a human being that I hurt her so deeply, and I and it's very hard when you're someone like me to differentiate. Like, wow, is she really miss me or does she miss my money? Does she really miss me? You know, like an ugly. No, she misses your money. money. Yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't sure, and then I'm like, wow, I really, I, you know, she's really hurt. Like, I don't know if I replaced some other thing in her. I don't know. I mean, you know, we did share things and conversations. Or I'd say, you know, I, I went through this when I was your age or that. And I'm 60. Yeah. I have two grown sons that are a little younger than her. You know, I, I'm actually just, like I said, still waiting for, I was giving Shani money. So is this basically, she was giving Shani money. And then the next day they asked for 30 more dollars after the previous day they got 50 and that was it. Uh, she said no and realized, you know what? I'm not giving you more, no more money or did something else happen? Cause the way Shani makes it sound in the earlier video I played tonight that, uh, that she was love bombing and then being me and then love bombing and then being me. You know, I introduced her like we had, we used to just, you know, talk. The Guys, thank you all though for being here. Please like. Yeah. During the day, and my son was like, "Hi," and this was really a sad, cute thing. This was sad. My son is 32. He's awesome. And one day, I was just talking to them on the phone. We were on camera phone. You know, we both saw each other. And my son, I go, "Say hi to Rev and Channing," and he goes, "Hey, Rev, big fan," or something like that. Like I'm a big fan of yours. And then my son left and went to work. And about 20 minutes later, Rev said, "I just want you to tell your son that he really made me feel good. I haven't felt good like that in a long time. That somebody recognized me for me." And I thought that was so fucking sad. Do you know what I mean? Like he is so worked up in her game and he's yeah. too stupid to realize it. There's nothing left of him. I, I'm going to be honest with you. If he got away from her and went with G-Man, I would help him get a job. I would help him. Whoa. Why, why, why would he go with G-Man? That's, I don't even think that's ever been on the table. Just saying that. Um, I never heard anything like that. I mean, you th- maybe G-Man would still at this point. It seems like he's, that's the only person he wants to help out of both of them. I mean, you know, but make no mistake, Rev has done as much as Shani, but I do agree that Shani is definitely the ringleader in all this. I do what I could. Him, not her. I totally understand what G-Man's talking about. I do. I really and truly do, and I can see I am just as frustrated with the, him. You know, he's asking me for money now. Like, come on, let's support. What does he think? They're in the mob? Yeah. Let's, let's make this right, Lisa. You know, the the worst thing that could happen to Shani <laughs> is what? Jason coming to, coming to his senses and leaving. You know that, right? Yeah, absolutely. That would and leave that would leave her with absolutely no one at all. Right, and I also know that it's getting time is their time is ticking with the uncle. I know he told me that himself. Yeah, and like I said to you guys, yeah, uh, what in the previous video, the one before that, uh, two months ago, I heard a rumor that they they were done three four months. They were done out of there. That you know, Shane was supposed to give money to the uncle, but you know, obviously since she's making a lot less, and they have no like barely any ABT or anything. They have like nothing to give. They have nothing. And he just doesn't want them there. He doesn't want Shani there. I'm sure he would take just Rev, but he don't want Shani. She's a, you know, she's she's a damn pig. He told me that himself. I can't get a straight answer from them yeah. as far as what the living arrangement is. And I've tried. And I'm like, do you guys sleep? You sleep down there? And she, and she goes, yeah. I go, so are you only allowed in that one room? And he goes, we can use the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, we can use the they, bathroom. They obviously don't want them destroying the rest of the house because he probably figures the less he has to repair, the better, you know? Yeah, but I do know. I, I don't even know who said it. Somebody said something, and they were totally wrong about it. But the uncle does want them out. And I'm, you know what? I even think if the uncle bro- if he broke up with Shani and just sent her on her way, I think the uncle would help him. I do. And I think G-Man would. Of course. And, you know, I like Rev. I genuinely, I just feel bad for him that he's so wound up in her shit. You know, I really do. I mean, you know, <laughs> That's good, not sure. She, I, I don't know. Good analogy, but, bro. But then again, the child abuse hey, Gibby. stuff comes into play. Doesn't even she doesn't even mention it. I have mentioned her kids because I'm a mother of two kids. Oh yeah, yeah. I have a I have a racks thing set up for either uh Friday or Saturday. Um the uh the way you call it, the blind billy um uh, story. So I I'm, I'm gonna go over that. So hope I'll see you there for that one. Um I told her about a situation that happened a very long time ago when we were my husband um reprimanded my son and my younger son called 911 and when they my son my husband was just trying to keep my son in the house and the cop said to my husband i know what you did but unfortunately it's considered child abuse because I, I would have done the same thing the cop felt terrible but we had to go through it 
and it, everything was it wasn't like the, their situation at all this was a very long time ago and um but i told her like i know what you're going through and i know how afraid you must have been and she goes well it was a private adoption and they're very happy with their new mother she's black you know <laughs> what the fuck what whoa 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 wait wait wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell did she just say? <laughs> the kids? <laughs> the kids are adopted? Holy shit, no way. When did this happen? Because I, I would have done the same thing. The cop felt terrible, but we had to go through it. And everything was, it wasn't like the, their situation at all. This was a very long time ago. And, um, but I told her, like, I know what you're going through and I know how afraid you must have been. And she goes, well, it was a private adoption and they're very happy with their new mother. She's black, you know. <laughs> oh my God. Oh well, yeah, of course, Shani, I put in the, you know, put in the, the racisms because that, you know, Shani being shame, but damn, you know what? Good, good. <laughs> I didn't want reunification anyway. I don't think nobody wanted to, her to be reunified with those children. You know, thank God that they never that they actually have a choice if they ever want to see her again. And I'm sure when Shani made uh, the older son go online and say that they were good parents, I'm sure that that probably was like the final nail in the coffin. So, and I don't know what she means by private adoptions. Aren't most adoptions private? Fuck. So yes, she, God, they were her adoption. kids were adopted. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Did did, <laughs> did uh yeah I, I know Barbie. Did anybody else know about this that, that, that the kids were adopted? I didn't know this, but good. Like I said, private ado adoption. I know I don't know any private adoption. And you know, like about it being private. But you know what? I'm glad that they're far ass away from her or far away from her, her dumb ass. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah that's bullshit. There's no yeah, such thing. She's Remember, close. she said they were going to go to camp. She's a liar. She of course she did. Everything. She lies about everything. She called me on Valentine's day, crying about her mother that she wished died of can't COVID. You know, I miss my dad. I miss my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm on to her bullshit. Hey, so, but I just don't know how I should end this with Rev. Should I just tell him to go? I I miss my mom. You have thirty dollars, cause I miss my mom. And you know what? That Delta A will make me forget I miss this whole thing. Fuck himself. Tell him. You know what? I would. I would. I don't know. I tell tell him that you're forwarding all this information to the dis, to the attorney general. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they would care, but they wouldn't care. They wouldn't care. I know. I know. But they don't they don't give a shit like they don't care yep they don't care and, and you and i don't know if you heard what he said but shani's hangry she's hangry yeah <laughs> hangry I even told them in a note which i'm happy to share with anybody i've gone without medication to make sure you guys have food and that is the and you know and, and remember everybody if uh if this guy like 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 my buddy crash just said before which is very very uh intelligent words if this guy does indeed think that this person is lying and deleted the video you know maybe they're not adopted but i really really hope they are i mean i can't see at this point that they wouldn't be because the one was you know very close to 18 and the other one had to endure so much abuse and he's autistic and i'm sure he's really really far behind in his schooling the past couple of years so if it is true good for them the truth that's the god's truth so, but I don't want the money back. I don't want any, I don't want anything. I, you know, you, when you give money to anybody, don't expect to get it back. Do you really think I would expect to get a dime from them? Yeah, but you could. I don't want it. I you could file a dispute with PayPal and get your money I back. I want nothing to do with them. I want nothing at all. I mean, if you're them. spending money that should be used on medication and giving it to them, I'm just, I just, it was a tough week, but I'm fine. And my husband's fine and everything's fine. And for them to accept the money from somebody that's. Yeah. Do you know how many times I couldn't breathe or talk? And I was talking like this because I couldn't breathe. And they just, you know. Like, They're taking your medication money. Uh, don't ever, please don't let that out. I don't want anyone to think I'm some little old lady patsy. I'm not. No, I promise we'll never let that out. <laughs> did she know she was being recorded? You know, it, it doesn't seem like she did. Or does. Or maybe and that's why it's taken down. But, you know, the, 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 the thing is, 
if if you're giving somebody money, you, you can't give them all your money. Obviously, if you have medication, you should know, especially because you barely knew Shani. Why would you give her more money than you need for yourself, especially if it's a health risk? I please don't share. That's the only thing I would prefer you not share. Like that, I you know, like that makes me look. Like <laughs> Dude, you should have cut that out. So I can show you. I'll send him a picture of my business card. No, but you don't need to do all I'm that, you know, and I'm stuff. The real but deal. there's no, there's no bullshit. There's no nothing. Yeah, I understand. I, honest to God, I honest to God intended this to be a good Christian thing. Yeah. I am a firm believer that if you give, you get. Yeah. And I believe that when you, you know, help somebody that's mis, you know, with a lot of misfortune in their life, they it's get, you know, it's wild. You this is wild. Or you get blessings. So I'm all about the blessings, not the money. Well, it's hopefully from what you said, you know, somebody else will hear this and be able to, you know what I mean? Figure exactly. this shit out before they get in involved with exactly. these people. Exactly, exactly. Believe me, listen, they re and you know what? I think about this. I got double conned because even with these, I knew because the minute I heard her start saying people hurt me and, you know, what, what hurt me or whatever, yeah. stab me in the back. I knew she was talking to me. I know it was directed exactly to me. I mean, I knew it was. And it's the same exact speech that she's giving me now. You know, so I really just want to be done. I, I'm just going to tell him to go fuck himself. And I'm done and just get rid of Shani. I'll send everything I have to Carrie. So, but yeah, I'm that's what I would do. I, I would send that to Carrie and help get the word out and stuff. Right. You know, um, well, stupid asshole me didn't even know how to, you asked if I was a troll. I didn't even know my name was Lisa Anderson on YouTube. <laughs> I'm what? such a fucking boomer. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's no, I'm, I'm, I don't have any ulterior motive in this. I don't want my own YouTube channel. I don't want anything to do with them. Nothing. Nothing. Then why'd you record so, the stuff? Have, you know, learn to keep my mouth shut. And I help other people, you know, in real yeah. life. Yeah. In real life. And I mentor two developmentally delayed women. So, and we, me and my husband make lunches for, believe it or not, on Saturday and Sundays, we make lunches for vets because they don't have meals on wheels in our area. What's up with the, the, the this, this, like, you know, with the, you know, with the, I, I do this and I do that. It's okay. You don't, it's nobody's business. You just say, you know, I have a busy life. You don't have to go into like details on your life. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, I didn't just, they weren't my first charity, if you know what I mean. I really thought I could help them. Like she's and trying I, to flex it, right? Not, you, you're the exact type of person they're looking for. Exactly. 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 And I, I've been telling people, I was actually stressing that today, that they're looking for someone new and preferably uh, uh, somebody who's a Christian who wants yep. to, and is a good person. Right. Exactly. And I mean, I'm, you, you can tell I'm a person, I'm, you know, I'm kind of a people person. I know I have a big mouth. Oh, I, no problem, sir. That's what I do in my job. It's, you know what I do? I'm a case manager, so I'm fixing lives every day. I didn't really think, these were the worst. These, these don't need a case manager. They need an exorcism. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Yep, so I will send what I have to, to uh, carry, and then I'm done, and I'm just going to tell Liv to go fuck himself. Yeah, so are those, are, are those voicemails, or are those through Instagram? They're on Instagram, they're on Instagram and there's no way to, there, there's no way to, like, record them unless, I mean, if you had a number, mm. I could, like, just keep pushing the button and don't answer the phone and just let them record, I guess. I don't know. I am totally, totally... I'm not sure, Pat. ...beyond stupid with this stuff. Yeah, I understand, but, you know, we, I would get together with carry and maybe work something out like that because i really do think it's important that this gets out about what she's doing yeah well when he ever when i ever heard his voice today i almost fell through the floor i i, I i'm never speechless i'm never speechless and it can i be honest with you too yeah and it really infuriates me that they're fucking taking money from someone who needs that money you know what i mean i know i get it they I mean, do it all the time i'm not saying anything bad about you i'm talking about them I know, and, and I mean, to, to be honest with you, my we make good money, so it wasn't a big deal at the time. It was only because you know he had three, he had to have three MRIs in a row, and our co payment was eighteen hundred for each one. The co payments. Yeah. Hmm. And that you know everybody, are you married? Yep. All right. Well, I mean, you guys know you go through you know richer or poorer. Wow. So yeah. <laughs> you know we're married twenty five years, so we've been through you know thick and thin. But it was the thing that really pissed me off. The re the thing that really really. Did they know about your health condition this whole time? Absolutely. And they knew I sent them. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. But come on. Again, when when are we going to start holding people accountable? Sure. They, they took advantage of a 60-something-year-old that maybe shouldn't be online because she has a credit card and a lot of money to spend. 
But again, maybe she shouldn't be online. Maybe she shouldn't have access to her finances if she knows she's going to throw it away to people that abuse kids. And that information is everywhere. You know, like I understand people are good natured. People want to help out. I get it. But at the same time, there's too many times where people just don't get held accountable. Like maybe that wasn't the, the, the greatest of ideas, you know, maybe giving her phone or your phone or maybe giving Shan your phone number wasn't the greatest of ideas, right? Right here, what you're hearing. That this is mind blowing that there's fucking pieces of shit out there like this. Exactly. Exactly. So it is what it is. I'm done. I am. I, I'll send it on to Gary. If I was you, I wouldn't even have any other contact with them. I would just fucking oh, forget no, no, no. about I those need, pieces go, of shit. No, I'm, please. I'm Italian. I need to get at least one go fuck yourself in. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying, man. Don't get I'm suckered done. into this pity shit and send them I'm any more done. money or I'm anything. Done. I am done. I'm done. I'm done. Because they have all day and night, seven days a week to sit down and fucking figure this shit out on how to work people like you. And, you know, may maybe they do. Maybe they do. But I don't know. I think some people haven't moved past, like, the town they grew up. Because I've been all over the place. And, yeah, people scam people. People dick people over all the time. They have all sorts of things set up. They need a... They need a... a um, you know, Microsoft needs you to pay for something, but instead of giving us the money, they need a gift card. You know, that's the new thing now, go, calling up and asking for gift cards. You just have to be ahead of the game and find out what's the newest scam going on and how to prevent yourself. You know, a lot of people, most of the time, people don't even ask you for anything. You have to like mail things in. I hope people know that. But I would just say if, if people have stuff like this and have money extra money just to throw away they should just know who they're giving it to before they do that and like he's saying if she does feel like she's betrayed that much she could get it back she could be like i gave my money to child abusers and now i want it back she could do that exactly i know they will try to call me during the day and they know i'm working i work seven to seven every day yeah i mean this is their job now what yeah. they're doing this is their full-time job you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And I had, I found actual valid jobs that they could have both done from the comfort mm. of their home in on the telephone, talking to people, ta talking to people, just talking to old people, uh, like compassion calls. Yeah. And they would pay them $10 a call. I said that I was the one that found it for them. I went online. I did the research, me. Yeah. So I don't know. I want to be done with all of it. It's a fucking... It's, it's a, just a bad rabbit hole. I never should have went down. Yeah. I went down the rabbit hole and there were two cows sitting there shitting on each other. Yeah. I even <laughs> of course. Last year, you know, you guys have to get off the internet. You're going to destroy each other. It, it, it's, that's what's going to, I just see them both just, I don't know. I don't know. Can, can I say that? I have to go, but can I say this real quick to you? Absolutely. I, I really feel bad and anybody, everybody else has to as well or we're not human beings you know what i mean how they just he said he had to go but it's like 20 more minutes of this <laughs> I, I know. you know what I, and i hope you guys do better health wise we're fine we are fine he's waiting we're waiting you say a prayer for him we're waiting for results today we've been waiting since nine o'clock so there's mm. the medical you know industry for you yeah my husband's waiting for the most important since nine o'clock this morning and they still haven't called well, Shani, Shani doesn't care about any of that, you know. She can I, afford see, the misappointments and stuff, I, you know. I sent a picture just to, like, kind of make her realize that I was a real person. I sent a picture of my husband laying in bed looking like death. He was in such pain. He yeah. Move. And I got nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so, nothing. I mean, she should be doing something to help her. Isn't that what she claims? <laughs> Shani helps everyone. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Shani helps everybody. Shani, I mean, I think everyone should just realize that Shani used her own parents. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to know. If somebody can use their own parents and then wish death upon them, yeah, they'll they'll take advantage of a 50-year-old, 60, 70, 40, 30, 20, 80, 90. There's, there's no limit, you know? Because she did it to her own parents, the people that she's supposed to love unconditionally, right? I told her to, I said, you are 30 years old. 
I can't get disability. And I told her about some of my clients that couldn't get disability. I had a client that had HIV. She was 60 years old and her husband got it because he slept with somebody while he was in rehab. <laughs> and they, she was almost, it was like death's door and she couldn't get disability. She couldn't get social security. Yeah. I hear stories like that all the time. And I told Shani, I said, Shani, you are too young. You are walking and talking and doing videos. You can, they, you, there's a job for you somewhere. There is a job for you somewhere. All right. The guy in our Walmart is the craziest fucking guy in our town. <laughs> Crazier than Rev. He dresses like the uh, ship captain for the Titanic. <laughs> he's got a job, Rev. So he's got a job. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you could be Walmart. I've, I've tried to pinpoint where they are. Like, what stores are near you? What blah, blah, blah. What blah, blah, you know. Why don't you go and try to apply at GameStop since you love video games so much and you know about them? So. Okay, know, let I, me ask you something about your illness. What'd you say you had? I have COPD and I have CHF, congestive heart failure. If you go by what they're telling you to do, is there uh, any way that you'll be able to recover from this? Um, hopefully, yes. I'm much better than I was last year. My only problem is that um, about two, oh, a month ago, I collapsed yeah. in my kitchen and found out that I had a blood clot on my lung. Yeah. And and I also had a... And, you know, like, it's the stuff like this. Like, you know, even for the people that are just, were just suckered in and they're actually are good natured and they weren't trying to have an agenda and and you know i'm not saying that with with her but i'm just saying for anybody who's just good natured if if you have health problems don't get involved in this this area of the internet because this stresses people the hell out and if you don't want somebody that's damn near 40 come you know giving you like hundreds of of voicemails and stuff and text messages yeah don't don't deal with this stuff. It is stress that you do not need, especially if you're sick. I had a heart attack in 2017. I'm fine now, though. I'm very how's fine. Your, how's your walking? Hey, Jilly. I'm in a wheelchair. They know that, too. Permanently? Yeah. Well, I, I, would like not, I would like to think not permanently, but yes. And I told her about a wheelchair, too. And I said, they, you know, I want to work. Yeah. Right? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like if people have to say it to, uh, you know. A lot of times it's like, hmm, are you? I like working. I Keep like telling working. yourself I you that. Explain, you really, you're <laughs> not going to get a lot of money, because, you know, from Social Security. You're not. Yeah. And it, like to them, thirteen hundred dollars is thirteen million. Yeah, but is that thirteen money? Both oh, there you are. Combined? Oh no, it would be no. The heat. Hey, Lisa, it, it, do you do you, do you want a link? Do you, would you would you like to have a link? If you would like, I will give you a link. I've been listening to this, this, just this, this uh, interview. Uh, did you know that you were being recorded? And like, that's not that's not a jab at you. Like, I'm being serious because it, you know, a couple of times you said to him, "Please don't mention this. Please don't mention that." And to me, that sounds like someone who maybe didn't even realize that they were actually being recorded at that moment. Um, and. I also just want to know how you said you met Shani or Shani found you on Instagram. So you didn't meet her. She found you first. But yeah, you let me know. I'll, I'll throw a link in the, uh, in the chat. They get shit um, food stamps, I know. Well, how much do you get on disability? Well, I mean, can go anywhere from like $1,300. Um, the, the person that's here visiting me this week, I, my ex-husband's here visiting me. He gets 2200 Yeah. But he's fully... Yeah, but doesn't that depend on how much you put into it? He, I was just going to say, he's worked his whole life, and he, he's got his master's in business from Babson. So because, Lisa, I'm telling you, like, like I said, yeah, well, I mean, that's... that's I can understand about being nervous. It's just because there's, there's some just contradictions in this. Because you said you gave $50 to Rev and Shani, right? And then the next day, Rev asked you for $30 more. But... You knew what they were about, so you didn't give them the money. But you didn't know what they were about the day before when you gave them even more of the money? Because 50 is more than 30. And I would think you knew about what they were all about this whole time. I mean, like I've been saying, simple Google search. You know, Shani's been on the news. A lot of people know about the child abuse, the animal abuse. There's thousands of Shani for Christ videos, Shani's love. There's her from the Great Debate Days on Google Plus. There's a, there's a lot of Shani. She's on Rumble. So are you new? Well, okay. And well, then why did you give her? Oh, oh, she did, Cody. 
Interesting. Well, then why did you give the 50? And uh, what made you stop uh, wanting to support her? So these two have never really held steady employment. So what would somebody, what would somebody like them earn a month on? Well, not earn, but suck off the government. Well, especially like in Scranton. Yeah. You know, I mean, it really depends on where they live. But well, like you said, what they put in, um, it could be anywhere from like 800 to maybe 1200 max, right. I would believe. Yeah. And like I said, they're not putting anything in. Yeah, Cookie, like I said, I'm just, I'm listening. I know this was deleted. Uh, but I'm listening just to try to make understand, make sense of it. I don't, I don't have a positive comment or opinion or a negative. I'm just trying to get the facts as I'm hearing them come in. You know, some people think she's a troll. Some people think that she was just ignorant to the facts of Shani and Rev. Some people think a lot of things. So you know, I'm just putting out you know a neutral, <laughs> neutral way. And they haven't put anything in. It. But thank He's you. Never put anything in. Yeah. You know, and I don't care. I mean, he keeps saying he has a diagnosis from when he was 18 or something. That, I, that's bullshit. That's yeah, bullshit. I don't believe it either. It's bullshit because he would have been on disability. That's Nobody, right. His mother was still alive then. Nick Thank you, James Nick. has just donated $4.99 through Super Chat. This lady is about my mom age. In a wheelchair and walking. My mom has foot and back problems. She walking. Shani, why you not working? Jason, you sad. Yeah. And you know, like I could definitely, you know, props to Lisa for that being 60 and having to go to work, you know, with, you know, with a disability, you know, that shows Shani that there is, there is ways around things, even for her being 500 pounds, she can, Shani can get a walker if she is that big. You know, I've seen women that big walk around with walkers. Shani just has wants to use an excuse. I'm sure she can even at this point uh, have her the insurance or her Medicaid pay for some sort of scooter for her. But thank you, James, for the four ninety nine. I appreciate it, bro. Especially without a job and stuff, you know. Yeah, his mother was still alive. Yeah, because my my cousin he gets disability. He's always been on disability, mm -hmm. and he lived with his his uh, mother and stuff. You know what I mean? And they got all kinds of money. Right. Right. And I mean, you know, there's certain areas, like, especially, I know this sounds funny, but where we live, um, we've got some, like, extra stuff that other states don't have. Yeah. And we have people that come here because our um, special education is so good that we have people that will move here just to get a good IEP and to get more money for SSI for their well, Thank you, Predatory. Yeah. So, and where you at? Where are you at? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just, I don't know. Lisa, I know you sent a message on my, uh, in one of my chats. You said you were the one that they were talking about, and I saw that you were a member, and I'm like, well, why don't you come on into the Discord and, and, and show these uh, receipts that you have? Because I didn't even know that much about what happened. I just saw Shani's fallout of her freaking out at you, and, and there was no context to why. So is that really it, though, if you can even just write it? Um, she asked you for more money, and that's when you realized, hey, I don't want to help this person anymore. It's just something's not right here, or like, you know. Nick James donated $1.99 through Super Chat. Working, sorry, my bad. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Nick James. I mean, I, I, I live in Framingham, Massachusetts, which okay. is 20 miles west of Boston. Okay. The marathon runs through our neighborhood. Yeah. So, yeah, but, um, you know, it really, but we have a lot of good programs here, like really good programs here. We, we, unfortunately, we also have a prison in our city mm -hmm. and they pretty much dump them out of the prison and bring them over to the, you know, the work program. That's nice. You know, the <laughs> other thing is, it, oh, can I say something off the record? See, like right there, right, right. Th I, <laughs> you, you did email me. I never got that email. Uh, if you emailed me, I ne I never uh, received an email from you. But uh, you, you see what you just said, like you know, off the record, don't tell nobody this. Usually, that would be something you'd say to somebody in a private way. And I just can't help but think that maybe you kind of forgot at some point. And I get it. Sometimes when you're talking to people, even right now, like I forget I'm talking about the eight, eighty something people. It's just you know, it just kind of all blends together. So I can understand. But guys, please like.
Where'd he go? I don't, I don't hear him anymore. Off of here. And there I you appreciate go. you talking right. to us, man. That really, that really helped. Friend. That really helped. Hey, God, thank you. Absolutely, and that's all I want. You know what I mean? And I'm sure there's a lot of people that appreciate it, especially if somebody runs across this beforehand. You know what I mean? Or yeah. maybe double checks on Oh, uh, yeah, Lisa. Uh, Shamu for Christ is, is right, you know. You know, we're pretty cool in here. We'll actually tell you the truth. Um, yeah, you don't want to be throwing out names, dresses, your phone number to any creator. You don't want to do that. That's very bad. That's very, especially to Shani. Shani will... Shani will do bad stuff, you know? She tried to dox me, okay? She paid people to go after me and other people. You know, you don't know Shani, and that's what I'm saying. Like, um, you got to be careful. If she, leave, if she lets you off easy like this, then you were lucky. But back when she actually had money, Shani would have done really bad things. And this ain't alleged. This is the truth because I was there for it. So... You know, I just want you to know she's a dangerous, dangerous woman. So please keep your phone and your emails and your messages and and people's names and stuff to yourself because you never know, you know, who's on here. On her before Thank they you, send Shannon. Her any money. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, and, and I got to say, I mean, like I said, I really, really felt terrible because, you know, the last three weeks, and I sent her a very heartfelt letter that said, this is why I stopped being your friend. And it was because of money. Yeah. You know, none of my friends that I know of, I don't pay anybody to be my friend. And yeah, it's like, I can't even imagine that's, that's how she gauges friendship and loyalty. Yeah. So, which is terrible. It's very sad. All right. Well, Hey, well, it was nice talking to you. I hope you guys nice get, I hope you guys get better. And we thank are you. We're fine. We're fine. We just went to see the drop kick Murphy's. We're fine. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, hey, make that's sure pretty you cool. Contact somebody like Carrie or me or let us know your uh, husband's results. I'm just yeah, curious. We're, we're, yeah, we're waiting for today. We're waiting, so. If you, I, you don't have to, but I'm just saying if you want no, to. I, I'm yeah, just curious. I know, not a problem. Okay. Right, thank you very much for what you do. I, you've got a great show. Okay, thank you. Bye. All right, bye-bye. See, guys? See? You see, and this is the shit here I was talking about earlier where I asked you guys whether or not you would want to see her deplatformed or just have her hang around the laugh at. They're fucking taking money from a sick woman and, a, and her sick husband. Who they okay. I, I, like I said, I hear that. But like you just said, do people want to, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, get, get Shani out so she's not on the internet anymore? No, I don't believe that that's true, because if that was true, then people wouldn't be talking about her anymore. You know, and I think to the people that think that that's what they want, they realize real quick, oh, shit, maybe I shouldn't have did that. Because remember, you can always keep an eye on her a lot easier when she's kind of on places like this. But that doesn't mean that people have to, you know, send them money. But I know a lot would want to send money if they knew that it was going to go to some sort of rehab or something program like that. But don't worry. I, I'm not getting it twisted. I know that that would never, never, ever, ever happen because it's Shani. There's no, she doesn't think there's nothing wrong with her. They suspect might have cancer. They don't know the results yet. Man, it's fucked up, man. Wow. Yeah, it does. It, it, it does. It makes you fucking sick what they're fucking doing. And they know she's a fucking sick lady. Just like what she, who knows, if he came, if her husband came back positive with fucking cancer, who knows how much this fucking chemo is going to fucking cost? She ain't even care. You know, or the treatment that you pay out of pocket. But they have no problems fucking taking that money and smoking it right up, do they? And, you know, like, I really wish the, the new people that find Shani on other platforms and never even been to YouTube, uh, I wish they would actually get to see some videos first and actually know up front what she's said to people and what she's done to her own kids and her animals. And as she was kicked off YouTube, she's been evading. And that she, like I said, she's paid other bigger creators to go after smaller creators and dox them and, and put out, put their stuff out on Kiwi farms and do this other ho horrible shit. You know, I mean, she can be a real nightmare.
Like, like I said, you, you you know, if she doesn't call you again, you're lucky that you you got away with her not like sending you a hundred pizzas or some shit like that. Cause she is that vindictive. Or buying pizzas. Huh? That's funny that I hit that hat and he said that. <laughs> There's yeah, they, they need to be in fucking jail. Seriously. They need to be in fucking jail. I would be so fucking pissed if I found out somebody was doing this to my fucking parents. Taking advantage of them. God, that was worth staying on today. I was off today and I kind of felt like a little bit of a bum streaming all day, but shit, felt worth it. But, you know, like I said, she's a perfect example of the type of person, the people that they're looking for right there. God, that's so fucking sad. Two fucking perfectly healthy people taking advantage of the elderly. When I say perfectly healthy, I mean healthy enough where they could fucking work. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, that's why I said for her to get in contact with, I mean, walk her through to have the, the file sent. All right, I might just, if, you know, since she's off, I guess I'm done with that one, you know. But I want to get to uh, Shaney's uh, alleged breast exam. <laughs> because, you know, we, we've been waiting for this one for a while. And now she's supposedly gone after many times and attempts of her not getting there because they have no car and they can't get there and she didn't feel well and this and that and this and that. So let's hear what uh, what she has to say. And thank you guys for being here. There's about 88 of you. Please like and sub if you're not and uh, consider becoming a member and let's go. But thank you all for being here. I hope you guys are having a nice, calm and cool night. And boom. See, Haley, that's why I wrote the bobs. Because she wrote bobs. I know how to spell boobs. <laughs> Let's see. I still don't believe any of this. I just got back. I won't be here long. Lawn. Um, I have another thing I have to do, but um, I just got back um, from my mammogram, and I just want to tell everyone here because, like, I'm busy, like, really busy today. Um, but like, I know everyone's asking me, and I have like so many messages on Facebook and Instagram right now. Uh, but um. I do, hey, Charlie. I, 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 I do have, this is all I know, okay? This is what I know. This is radiology only. This is my doctor. This is radiology only um, from the mammogram and the ultrasound. Um, I do have a mass um, probably the size of, like, chewed up bubble gum in my right breast. I don't know anything about my left breast. I haven't talked to my doctor about it, but my right breast, this is what I know from today. Okay. I have a lump in my right breast, um, and they're going to be monitoring it. And I'm scheduled to go back to get another mammogram in six, six months. So she's, this is her second one. And then she has another one, six months down the line. Okay. Um, to monitor the size and the growth and how it is because of the position. They're not quite sure. Uh, what the fuck? No data. <laughs> it looks like there's data, but it says no data. God. Come on, Shani, get on with it. I think so. Yeah. Okay, it says excellent connection now. 
but they're going to be monitoring that in six months to see if it's any growth there. I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about the left breast. I haven't talked to my doctor. I know he wants to talk to me right away. Um, so we have an appointment for that lined up. Um, but. And again, folks, just remember to keep this in the back of your head. All this stuff is going down during the, the you know, the uncle don't want them in there anymore, folks, <laughs> situation. So you just got to just, you know, keep that in mind. She's saying all this, this stuff is, is happening to her. But at the same time, they're, they're on their way to get kicked out. Uh, it kind of looks like... Um... Within the ultrasound and the uh, uh, mammogram, it kind of looks like a, like, almost starting, like, sputting potato, I guess you could say. Um, so they're not quite sure what to think about it. Uh, now, this doesn't say anything about biopsies or anything. I don't know that until I see my doctor about biopsies. What? Then how... Okay, so this is the mammogram. Okay, I, I thought you were going to get a biopsy. See how she does this, guys? See how she spins the narrative around? She does this all the time. Um, but right now I do have a, a mass that I know of. In That's fat. My right breast. Um, I'm going to have to go six months to get it monitored to see the growth of it and stuff. Um, so this is just going to be a, I guess, long journey. That does she have a Xerox of this as well? <laughs> me and my family are going to have to take. Her family, um, just rev. I know when I was having the mammogram, the mammogram this time was very painful actually because they were pressing where the lump was exactly. So they were pressing really hard on my breast this time and it was very painful. And even 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 um, when I was getting the ultrasound, that was painful too because they had to like press on the lump and the lump is very painful. Um, she said it might be a lymph no a lymphoid, it might be a, a cyst, it might be something else. Um, they're just not sure because they didn't get into it yet, but. Um, there is something there. Hey, we Mayor Bear. In it, and um, that's all I know. Um, all I know is my boobies hurt right now. <laughs> like that, like you can, like. Okay, so Mayor Bear says, I had an ultrasound on my breast like 13 years ago. So, someone who knows what they're talking about. Thank you. And knew that the, the day, it, that day, it was an assist. It's a tumor. Later found out it was benign. Thank God. I don't believe that they don't know if it's a cyst or a tumor. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I get what you're saying between you trying to guess, you know, like, you know, uh, Google diagnose, like what, what you might have, you know, you're getting nervous and between the doctors without having the actual biopsy or having an actual, um, check to make sure that, you know, it could be anything. I, I definitely agree. Thank you for that comment. I could, I could like, Feel it, you can feel it. Like if you pinch it, feel that. Yeah, ha ha ha. Yeah, I think I do. Feels like a bulb. Firm feeling part. Yeah. yeah, I feel it. I did. I do feel it. Yeah. <laughs> firm feeling part. But it's like it's like the position of it is kind of weird because it's like right up, right below the skin and like right like like right above the breast tissue. So it's in between the skin and the breast tissue. Yeah. So they're not quite sure. I get it. What's going on there? Yeah. So that's why they're monitoring it. Um, now, I don't know anything about the left breast. I have to talk to the doctor about that. I don't know about biopsies. I have to talk to the doctor about that. So we're going to wait on that. But right now, that's what I know. There's a lump. They're going to be monitoring it. Um, I'm going to be scheduled in a day or two to have a mammogram in six months. Okay, so whoa, whoa, whoa. She was going to have a biopsy. She's not having the biopsy anymore. She's going to talk to a doctor about that. She has to go back for a mammogram in six, six months, but now she just said, um, I'm going to have a schedule in a day or two to have the mammogram in six months. So she hasn't even scheduled the mofo yet. You know, guys, you have to look at what she says. And then when you're like, oh, wait a minute, you don't have that set up yet? Or you didn't go for the biopsy either. Oh, that mammogram in six months, you haven't even scheduled it. And you know what that tells me, folks? That that tells me this is another thing that's going to get drawn out. And it's just like she's going to do anything 
you know, to try to extend the time at that uncle's house. Because see what she just said? She has to schedule for something in six months. Not that it's already scheduled. That could take eight months. You get that? Um, I just got a message. Probably from... Okay. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, Jen. So... I just want to let people know that, you know, this makes me nervous because it's like I have, it was so weird. Like they were putting me in these weird positions, like in the mammogram, like you got to like raise your arm this way and, you know, put your arm this way and you got to move your hips. This, it was just so awkward and weird and painful because it feels like they're just trying to like clip my booby off me. <laughs> no, right? Wow. Right? It was I know, serious right? pressing this time. Sorry. I know. I know. Feel sorry for me, Rev, you piece of shit. That just sounds unfair. <laughs> but there is something interesting about the mammogram place. What? If you go into the back room, it's it literally smells like breast milk, sweet breast milk, boobies. What? Yeah, it does. And I, I, I like, I really like. Why do boobies smell so good? But they do. Like, <laughs> but it does. It smells like the the breast milk, like sweet breast milk smell, and it's it's. And you know, and this right here, folks, is. Any is when anybody who just found Shani, maybe even on Instagram, doesn't even never even came to YouTube, if they find somebody like this and they're listening and they feel sorry. Oh, I owe you have this mammogram, the breast and the breast issue in six months, you got a schedule. And then when she starts talking like this, this is when the red flag has to fucking fly <laughs> because this is your red flag. Pleasant. There's a lot of boobs in there. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot, oh. of boobs. a lot of boobs. Beautiful boobies. Get your boobies checked, ladies. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Get your boobies checked. You know? Even it's if, important. Like, like, even if you don't have family history, right? Yeah. You, you should do it. Still get your boobies checked. Yeah. You know? Should I go in a little drama? If you want to. I want to say congratulations to G-Man. Yeah. 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 Happy for you. Hope you enjoy it. Me enjoy what? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. 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 I don't even understand what she means by, you know, with, with G-Man and everything. I mean, he already owns that home. So what is she even talking about? Or is that, is that, is this just uh, anything that he's been asking her to do uh, for the past week to go on channels and stuff? No ill will to anyone. No, me neither. I dropped it. Yeah. There's no ill will for anyone. Yeah. So like, Amen. Hey, I feel the same. I got I got things to do in my life. I got to deal with, with like important things in my life. And, this I know. felt bad. Can, can, the internet I, stuff. Yeah, I don't care. Well, I just want to say to him that I wish him the best. Yeah, I wish him the I best. I really do. I do. Yeah. Because he. Oh, good night, Purple yeah. Moon. I, Thank I, you I for being here. Purple, absolute best for him in the future. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'll see you on the replay. Get a good wife. Don't mistreat her. Anyway. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Oh. Sorry, I, had to. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> But uh, peace and Maranatha, guys. I got to get going. I got to be, I, 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 yeah. I got some personal stuff in 45 minutes. All right. Bye, guys. Hmm, I wonder what that is. But yeah, on that note, I'm just, I'm going to uh, end it as well. And let's see. I mean, you know, uh, next time, Friday, Friday or Saturday. I don't know yet. But I have some Cyrax stuff. And then there's some G-Man stuff I want to talk about. But guys, thank you for hanging out. It was fun. Please, on the way out, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and become a member if you want to. And people, uh, uh, members uh, in my community tab, you click on it, you can join the Discord. And uh, Discord people, anyone wants to hang out, I could do like about like five minutes tonight. So I will meet you there in the general chat. So that's it. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Like, and that's it. Be good to each other because we don't know how much time we have left. Ha 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 ha.